In this presentation we are going to look at the Pareto distribution. Now in this particular video this is a very much an e economics sort of focus to it. Uh, by the way this is also a type 1 Pareto distribution and in other examples I would look at different types of distributions such as the type 2, the Lomax distribution. Anyway let's continue. Suppose the distribution of monthly salaries of full-time workers in the UK has a Pareto distribution with a minimum monthly salary XM equals 1000 okay, and a concentration factor alpha equals 3. So calculate the mean monthly salaries of UK full-time workers. Calculate the probability that a UK full-time worker earns more than 2000 per month and then calculate the median monthly salaries of, U of UK full-time workers. So calculate the median essentially. So the first question is essentially asks us the mean. So essentially we have to know what the mean, the expected value of a random variable following the Pareto distribution. And it's this formula here, okay? So the first requirement is that alpha equals is greater than one, and that is the case in this instance. So our mean, therefore, is alpha times xm divided by alpha minus 1. So alpha here is 3, and our minimum is xm, that's equal to 1,000. So this actually works out to be a very straightforward calculation. So I didn't work it out there, but it's essentially it's 3 times 1,000 divided by 3 minus 1, and that works out to be... 1,500. Okay, so that's our first question there. I didn't write it out, but it's straightforward enough. Okay, so yeah, moving on. I'm just checking it in my head to make sure everything's okay. Now, the cumulative distribution of a Pareto random variable has the, with parameters alpha and xm is as follows. So the cumulative distribution is 1 minus xm divided by x to the power of alpha for x greater than xm, which is the minimum, so it has to be greater than that. And if x is less than the minimum, it is 0. Okay. So essentially xm is the minimum possible value we can take. So necessarily if it is less than 0, the probability of it being less than or equal to 0 is 0, or less than 0 is 0. Okay. So 1 minus xm over x to the power of alpha. Okay. So in, using the values for this question, we have, we can write it as follows here. 1 minus 1,000 divided by x to the power of 3 for x greater than 1,000. And for x less than 1,000, that is 0. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is actually use the survivor function here, which is the probability of x greater than x. So essentially, I just actually can re rework the previous expression here and just rewrite it as follows. So I just I get a uh, complement of everything, essentially. So the probability of x greater than x uh, is 1,000 divided by x to the power of 3 for x greater than 1,000 and 1 for x less than 1,000. Okay. So just actually, if you're writing the survivor function, just remember that the zero becomes a one. If you think about it, it just makes sense. Like what's probability of it being greater than minimum is the probability of that is one. Okay, so this is the key expression we're looking at here. Okay, uh, calculate the probability that a UK full-time worker earns more than 2,000 per month. Probability of X greater than 2,000. That is 1,000 divided by X to the power of 3, that's 1,000 divided by 2,000 to the power of 3, that's 0 0.5 to the power of 3, and that is 0 0.125. Okay, so that's the answer to the second one, 0 0.125. Okay, and the third part asks us to calculate the median. Okay, so we're going to use the survivor function again, or the, the cumulative distribution function. Calculate the medium salary of the UK full-time workers. So the median is the value of X where the cumulative distribution function is 0 0.5. Okay. So essentially this is our cumulative distribution function here. Okay. And that's, you know, the cumulative distribution of function of X that gives 0 0.5. That will be expressed as follows. Okay. 1 minus 1,000 divided by x to the power of 3 should uh, 
give us 0 0.5. So essentially we solve for x, okay? Now, uh, I'm using the cumulative distribution function here, but essentially I get the complement of both expressions here. But equally, you can actually consider that as the, so that's one minus uh, 1000 divided by x to the power of three equals 0 0.5. So, you know, one minus 0 0.5 gives us 0 0.5. Equally, you can look at that in terms of the survivor function as well, which is also the case. So essentially, either way you get, decide to go, you should pass this point here. 1000 divided by x to the power of 3 should give us 0 0.5. Okay, so essentially what we do is get the cube root of both sides. Okay. And the cube root of 0 0.5 is 0 0.7937. So 1000 divided by 0 0.7937. So just reworking that re cross multiplying that we would get 1000 divided by 0 0.7937 and that would give us a median value of x therefore of 1259.92 okay so that's essentially just to, to be clear this expression here is just a cross multiplication and a rearrangement of this expression here Okay, so the answer there is 1,259.92. Uh, All right, that is the a quick worked example with the Pareto distribution.